Hi, I'm Borkon. Glad to have you here. Welcome back. And uh, I accidentally left my shaders on, uh, but uh, yeah, we can have the intro with shaders. I am not going to be using shaders that much because it is kind of confusing uh, for the video quality and it also is kind of bad for my FPS. I'm like, I want to record in 60 FPS and the shaders kind of drop below 60 FPS quite often, especially in my base. Um, out here it's probably good, let's see, uh, 1 FPS, no, 86, so it's it's kind of good. This is how this place looks with shaders, it actually looks quite amazing during the night. And um, if you were at the live stream uh, after I released the previous episode, no, I didn't announce it in the video because I wasn't sure I would be streaming. But I'm, I'm trying to go back to streaming uh, quite more often again. We did some tour of the base uh, with uh, shaders and it looks pretty amazing. Anyway, I'm going to push the button now. Bam. Just one button. We are in a, uh, well, little less shiny world. This is, by the way, the Iris mod. So it's sodium and uh, some shady support and it's working quite well. And by the way, uh, you saw I had 86 FPS here. Now it's over 300. So uh, yeah, that's... That, that's why the shaders are pro probably not right for everything just yet. Maybe if I ever buy better hardware, uh, then we can run with shaders all the time. Actually, no, we won't, because doing redstone with shaders is just, just, just confusing. Anyway, here is the Never Ward Farm. There have been changes. Uh, most of this I actually did on stream. We did quite some research on how to make sure that the bot gets its inventory replenished. And uh, the solution is, uh, uh, well, uh, these things here, which are, well, th these are pulse extenders. The pulse extenders are on an observer that is looking at this detector rail. The detector rail uh, sees that the minecart is passing over this. Both sides have exactly the same mechanism, by the way. Um, in the beginning, during the stream, uh, I only did one side and that wasn't really enough. This sends a pulse here. Uh, we extend it with this pulse extender, which seems to be almost perfect timing. We send the pulse here, and that lifts the blocks of redstone, which locks the hoppers underneath. This might actually not need to be blocks of redstone that we lift with uh, pistons. I, I might actually try to work on a different solution, but not in this world. Here, it's everything is fine. This is now working. Uh, but I really want to release a guide for this because it's it's a fun take on, on a farm that has been done many times, but it's my take. It works, but I might actually redesign these a little bit because we probably don't need the blocks of redstone like this. But that's a future problem, not for now. Uh, this farm is now working perfectly except for one thing. And that thing is, and I want to thank Original Broadcast for pointing it out, even though I would have probably discovered it sooner or later, but uh, when he pointed it out in the comments, I immediately logged in and saw that it happened. And what happened is that my bot starved to death. Uh, the bot didn't run out of Neverwords in, in its hands. That was working just fine. The, the tool, by the way, is not using any durability whatsoever, so we don't have to have a mechanism for replacing durability on the tool. Uh, I think the farm actually ran out of shulker boxes. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there is no shulker box here, no shulker box here. And this thing here is almost completely full. We on, we have 26 shulker boxes on Neverwords, and this is full. Like the, the entire loot system is full. So this has been working great on the farm, but uh, we are, well, we are losing, uh, um, what's it called? Food? Saturation? Something like that. We are using up food when uh, we are using this farm. We starve to death. And I'm not going to solve it with food in my offhand, because my offhand, of course, or the bot's offhand, of course, contains never warts. So we can't do that. We need a beacon. And let's just see if I have a beacon here. I think I know exactly where this is going. Yeah, there is no beacon here. I'm going to go into my base and see if we can find some beacons. Right. Maybe in here? No. Maybe in here? Um, I know exactly what the answer is going to be. Um, we don't have any beacons, but we have this. We have wither skeleton skulls. Tons of them. I have many more in the wither skeleton farm. You know where this is going. We, we're gonna design a wither killer. 
I have no idea how they work. I know they exist. I have seen people use them. I have seen people build them. I might have seen that there were video guides for them, but I didn't really watch them. I'll try to do what I think needs to be done. And like what I've seen other people do is um, you push in soul sand, you have dispensers praising the skulls and uh, you do it under the end platform because that's the safest place to do it. Of course, you could find a similar bedrock formation somewhere in the never, I guess, or even in the overworld. That could be hard, but it could be possible. Uh, but I'm going to use the end platform, of course, because I'm lazy. And uh, let's see if I can design one. I might not be able to. We will see. And I'm assuming that this is the way the portal in the end looks like. Um, it's a simulation in a void world. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to perform some experiments. I, this is definitely not going to be a live redstone design video because, well, oh. Right. Because of this stuff. I have no idea how the wither breaks blocks, but apparently it breaks blocks and I need to... So the wither has to be spawned on this level, right? Uh, this is where the soul sand has to be, but obviously the wither is destroying the soul sand. Uh, I'll just give you my initial thoughts here, uh, which means that we need the dispensers here. Very, very noisy wither. We need the dispensers here and they don't seem to get destroyed. So I think just the blocks under the wither are getting destroyed, which means that uh, some layer below, I guess here we need pistons that will be pushing the soul sand up. And uh, in the worst case, we might actually need to zero tickets. And in the same moments that we push the soul sand up, we spawn a wither. I think that's how it should work, right? Because let's... Oh, yeah, that was stupid. Hello, Wither. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let, let's... Ah, uh, I'm guessing that will be the problem then. How do I prevent the Wither from falling down? Hmm. Goodbye, Wither. Uh, those were blue skulls. That That's bad. Uh, but yeah, so I think we need pistons here. But there always needs to be a block below the Wither. Which means, oh, th there is some really, really, really careful timing that needs to be done here. Because that means, uh, and this dispenser was in the wrong spot, by the way. Uh, all these dispensers were in the wrong spot. That's where the dispenser should be. And was I pushing it? No, the, the, the spawning has to happen on this level. But it means that we need to push this block up and push the next block in before spawning the wither. Otherwise, uh, well, really bad things will happen. Oh, there is some really, really careful timing here. This is definitely, definitely not the live redstone design. I might even fail to do it for this episode. Or if this episode doesn't come out for two weeks, uh, you know what happened. I, I, I got obsessed by the problem and spent two weeks trying to solve it. Uh, just like the Neverwood farm, which took two months. But I will get it done. Right, let's try this layout. Uh, I, I said I wouldn't do live redstone design, but this is probably just uh, like basic setup. So my assumption is that this block will survive the initial explosion, will it? Come on, kaboom, it did. And it got immediately broken. Oh, uh, right, so that's not how this works. Uh, should I be bushing in the block from the side? No, but that, that shouldn't matter at all. And stop destroying everything, Mr. Wither. I don't like you. Uh, that didn't work. So how do I exactly do this? I really don't want to see how others have solved this. I, I, I want to spend some time doing problem solving on my own before I look for ready-made solutions. This is fascinating. Uh, I could be pushing it from the side, but that that doesn't matter because that block gets destroyed no matter what. Does it get destroyed if it's endstone? Uh, that is the question. Oh, bam, bam, bam. I mean, that's how normal normally people kill wivers manually or cheese it manually uh, with. The wither's head stuck in that... Yeah, okay, that doesn't get blown up, I don't think. 
Okay, so it needs to be blast resistant, but then how do I exactly... Do I pull this back but with a sticky piston and then push in the soul sand and dispense those immediately? This sounds like madness waiting to happen. Um... Not exactly sure how this is supposed to work because the the foot of the wither will always end up over this block and i have no idea how to push oh maybe if we would push in the soul sand from the side here that gets destroyed so that doesn't work i mean if we had oh come on wither so that one won't get destroyed so if i push really fast that doesn't sound reliable at all that gets destroyed too. Everything around, all soul sand around here gets destroyed. Yeah, so those will get destroyed, but these will not. So we can have soul sand there, but that doesn't really help us. I need to, I'm, I'm assuming these ones won't get destroyed. No, it's just the ones immediately below the wither that gets destroyed. I guess if you're pushing this block in, we would be pulling this block out, pushing everything up at the same time, and dispensing the skulls at the same time. Ooh, that's some careful timing. Okay, so I'm gonna perform an experiment and see if I can achieve that. Alright, uh, really ugly redstone right now, but uh, I think I have all the delays right. I'm not exactly sure about delay on the dispenser, so that could be wrong, but everything else uh, is more or less accurate, I think. Let's see. Perfect. So if I do this now and add the free sand there, it should be fine. It won't get blown up, I think don't think. No, it didn't get blown up. And now let's see, does the wither escape if I do this? No. Perfect. So I can keep doing this. That's two withers now. That's three withers. Bam, bada, bam. And something went horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah. Okay. So I was lucky three times, but not the fourth time. An advantage of building a system like this is that if I do something that doesn't work, it self-destructs. So I have to build a new one. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, humor. Uh, this actually kind of sucked. So uh, I suspect we need to do zero ticking here. It's not as simple as just normal redstone signals. Right, back to the drawing board. But the contraption has auto-darwinated, so uh, we have to build a new one. How do I pick up the loot? How do people do this? I am missing something, but I'm not going to look at other guides just yet. I'm, I'm going to try to figure this one out by myself for a few more hours. Maybe, maybe I'll make something up. I might have something that works. So what should happen, and this happens really fast, so that's why I'm explaining it before I show it. It is that uh, once there is a block here, that sends a pulse through this redstone line into this observer. This triggers this piston, which extends, pulls the block back. That is happening fast enough. Uh, this piston pushes the blocks in and uh, push this block of endstone back up. And uh, at the same time, these are pushing things up. Well, these pistons here are pushing the soul sand blocks up and after some delay, but very little, uh, we should dispense the skulls. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I have never tried dispensing the skulls, but basically I'm only dispensing one skull right now because I have not filled in the dispensers. But this is probably looking promising. So, uh, well, let's just give it a shot. Uh, and, da -da -da -da, and we have all the skulls that we need. Uh, here goes nothing. Oh, actually, uh, did I connect these? Yeah, I, I added the bedrock because I, I kind of want to remember where to put them back. The bedrock, of course, is not going to be there in the final design. This is just very temporary. Yeah. That did work. And we should be safe to repopulate these already. Because this thing should be going relatively fast when I push the... Well, when I create the conveyors for the soul sand. I'm hoping to do the conveyors on four ticks. That worked fine. There we're getting another wither and uh, we're good. 
They are not escaping because they have that block of endstone below them. So let's just spam this and see if we get unlucky at some point. I am hoping we don't get unlucky. Oh, this is actually looking good. Oh, that is absolutely not good. I definitely don't want to see blue skulls. Blue skulls flying here is bad, bad news. Yeah, there's so many blue skulls flying. Did I build this? Uh, and I think there is more bedrock up there. Maybe that is the problem. No, we're still getting blue skulls. Oh, that's so dangerous. Um, I will recreate the proper end portal just to know exactly how it's built because, uh, well, if this keeps happening, uh, if we're getting blue skulls, there is nothing preventing them from shooting the blue skulls downwards uh, onto the dispensers or the rest of the mechanism. And I'm actually seeing, why is there broken soul sand here? Is it from earlier experiments? I really hope the broken soul sand is from earlier experiments. I'm actually happy that I was recording so I can actually look it up if the broken soul sand is from earlier experiments or not. So I will look at my uh, footage and see if uh, we actually blew up one of the... No? We definitely lost a soul sand thing here. Um, I don't know. Then does it mean that we need to zero tick this and have less delay here? Should I zero tick them as well? I'm really, really bad at zero ticking things, so I, I don't exactly know how to do it. It kind of works by accident like this thing here. It's definitely wrong, but somehow it works and I don't know why. I will actually double check if it's actually zero ticking or if I'm just hallucinating. No, we, we are getting the soul sand blown up every time now. Uh, this is... We're not getting more withers, I don't think. I really don't want to look at how other people have, have done it because it's fun to figure this, these things out for myself. But uh, at some point there might not be any options and I will have to look the, because there, there, there might be just some magical secrets for how to do this that I am not understanding. Are we now stuck in a situation where we will always destroy the soul sand? Yeah, we did destroy the soul sand again. So, is this just too many withers? Yeah, definitely lost the soul sand again. And actually lost this soul sand as well, which is concerning. And we're getting blue skulls. Okay. I'm gonna look up how uh, this platform should look. Maybe, I, I don't remember exactly how the end platform looks. Uh, maybe there is more bedrock here that, that, that somehow prevents the blue skulls and explosions from happening. And uh, yeah, I just did one more test and I think I have something and uh, this happened. So yeah, the one more test and nothing worked. Ah, I was, I was just about to declare partial success and uh, the blue skulls blew everything up. I am missing something. So I rebuilt the end portal the way it probably should be looking. But the withers are just uh, sending out blue skulls everywhere. I, I have no idea how to prevent it. I think uh, it, just the timing here is just wrong because they, I think they managed to fall down. It, it doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough that, uh, well, this design just doesn't work. Uh, I'll keep trying. And I just had a disaster happen. And no, it wasn't a disaster with the machine. I actually just started recording to say maybe i solved it because the prototype i just showed you in the previous clip actually seems to work and uh, then i found out that somehow my um, computer forgot that it had the microphone and uh, nothing was being recorded in the previous clip so uh, let me kill these withers and i'm gonna try to recreate the previous clip and uh, yeah it's probably not gonna work but um i was working on uh, a setup like this and I figured out that I think the problem is that... Uh, so let me show you first how this works, right? We're going to be pushing in soul sand here. And I have uh, added myself a lot of uh, quality of life improvements here. So I have a command block that places the soul sand here because it just makes it easier. 
I have a command block that creates soul sand right here. We're pushing it from the side because I've just been experimenting with that, but it creates the soul sand here because I'm, I'm going to create the conveyor belts later. It's That's probably the easiest part of this project, so I don't want to waste time on that right now. So I have just a command block that places the soul sand here. And uh, what happens, uh, by the way, I have a zero tick generator here. This is a fantastic zero tick generator that I found a year ago. And I am so sorry, I don't remember who uh, who showed it. It was a Reddit post and I, I tried to search for it. And basically, if you search for zero tick uh, generator Reddit, you get one million zero tick farms from earlier Minecraft versions and you can't find anything now. I just couldn't find it. Sorry, but it, it's it's a fantastic zero tick generator and uh, it works. What happens is that we place a soul sand here. It gets pushed by this zero tick smart piston. It gets here pushed by this zero tick smart piston that moves the block here. The observer notices that triggers the zero tick generator and uh, the soul sand ends up on this piston. We immediately push it up. We immediately push the soul sand there in. And in the exact same tick, well, not the exact same tick, we trigger the dispensers, uh, dispense the skulls, and the weaver pops up. And everything seems to be working fine. But I think the problem happens when we retract this piston, then there is no block for the weaver to stand on. I think that is the problem because we don't push this block in fast enough. There is a little window where the wivers can actually fall down. And that's what happens is that they fall down and then they blow up all the blocks around them. And we can just see this in action. Um, it's it's relatively fast to happen. So I'm just going to keep spamming the wivers here. But it, it should be any second now. There we go. There it happens. And here you can also see another quality of life thing I have in action. The wivers don't blow up anything. I still need to kill them. But I have the carpet uh, explosion no block damage option set so that the wivers don't blow anything up. But, uh, and what I recorded in the previous clip is that I, I worked on a prototype here because I did actually some editing of this video already earlier today. And I saw something. Um, I saw that when I was pushing the wivers up by the soul sand standing on a block of endstone like this, the wivers never fell down. Because in here, there is a little bit of window between this soul sand being pushed up and the endstone being pushed in from the side, right? Because it is in this state and then it gets pushed in. But there is a little short period of time but non-zero where there is no block here and I think that's when the wivers fall down and if we push the soul sand in from below like this with a block and not a piston that retracts uh, this should work and uh, this is a very simple prototype here that I made uh, I only recorded this bit that's why I'm recreating it but uh, it's gonna work something like this and uh, yeah, the soul sand gets pushed in in the correct shape. When the first soul sand gets pushed in, this block gets pushed here. Then we activate both of these pistons. Uh, they have to be sticky for some reason. I don't know what, I understand why this cannot be a normal piston, but zero ticking works differently with normal and, and sticky pistons, and nobody has ever been able to explain uh, to me adequately uh, why that is. But uh, we pushed in the soul sand like this, and this pushed this block that was here pushed it over here, so we now have the soul sand here. These two pistons get zero ticked up, which means that this, this end stone here moves up here and pushes the soul sand in. This block gets pulled down, and then after some delay, we push this block in here. So it's almost a piston feed tape. <laughs> I made a piston feed tape. Well, it's with two blocks, but hey, still a feed tape. And uh, I did recreate it here. I made a copy of the mechanism because I wanted to save it. And I am experimenting now with this layout in here. And I was about to probably report success. Actually, let's turn it on a clock. And yes, I am having my sound ridiculously low. And, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, this didn't work. No, so now we know that this this doesn't work either. Uh, this is the fourth time I'm uh, starting to record to 
probably report success, and it actually blew up. Sometimes they destroy pistons as well, even with the explosion block no damage, and I think it is because of the wither feet being... I don't know, I don't understand how this works. I think it's the wither feet uh, that are... or the, 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 the withers having their feet... Uh, inside a block or near a block that blows it up and it's not actual explosion damage it might be that the the, the clock is too fast but like let, let, let's see exactly what happens here uh, it's hard to get a good angle but there there is now always a block with below the withers there is no situation where there isn't so i'm not sure yeah and now this happens again I don't know. And now they, they, they blow up the whole mechanism completely. I don't know what's going on and why this doesn't work. Maybe it is just a matter of timing here. Maybe I need to trigger this faster. And okay, last attempt. And this is redstone on camera attempt, actually. Uh, can I steal the signal from here somehow? To trigger this. I don't know exactly what the delay should be, but maybe we can do this a little bit faster. Something like this. This is probably too fast, but who knows? It was too fast. But not everything is lost, because now we, we can play around a little bit with the timing here. And I'm just going to add a repeater to see what happens. Because this doesn't need to be zero ticked, of course. Even though we are generating a zero tick here. Ah, okay. So, since the clock was the worst case, let's just use the clock. I don't know how much the timing has changed. If it, Oh, we are definitely losing... Yeah, okay, see there? We are losing the soul sand, which means that this is not working. I, I am already sure that this is not working. I'm actually thinking that since there is a delay between activating the dispenser and the dispenser actually dispensing the skulls, couldn't we send the signal to the dispensers earlier than everything else? There could be some magic like that going on. Okay, I'm gonna play around with that. I maybe if we speed up the because now the withers are actually not falling down, so maybe the the timing change actually helped there because now we're actually we're pushing the blocks up faster, uh, so maybe that timing actually solved the problem with the withers, and now the soul sand is getting destroyed because we are not dispensing the skulls fast enough. It would be nice if the problem was that simple. Interesting. This is actually, actually, actually progress. Well, I guess that answers that question. Uh, it's not a good idea to put this higher up. <laughs> I was thinking maybe the solution is to put it uh, one block closer to the end fountain. No, it's not. But I, I like this amount of blue skulls. This is uh, soothing. If I had explosion damage uh, on, this would be actually not funny, but now it is just funny. All right. Okay, let's push the emergency button. Goodbye, withers. Okay, this didn't work either. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. And I've got it. Ah, this was absolutely insane. Oh, let's disable. Actually, no, I'm not going to disable the hitboxes because it's actually important to see if there is any soul sand falling from the machine, but there isn't. This was a massive adventure. So uh, uh, last time I uh, showed you a clip, uh, we were here, I think. Maybe we had the third one? No, we didn't have the third one. And uh, since then, I actually did a live stream uh, where I was just begging for help. And, uh, well, lots of people had really, really good ideas. Unfortunately, none of them actually worked. Uh, but I have uh, stuck it out. I have actually looked at uh, the, the, the most popular design that exists. Uh, it's Fallen Breath's design. But... Pretty much everything that that design did, we already did on the stream, and it didn't work. Didn't really copy any ideas from that. Except one. 
And the one idea, I don't even know if I copied the idea or if I just uh, monkey with typewriter this because I am so tired now, it's two in the morning. I am falling asleep, but I figure it out. The only thing that needed changing is uh, I changed these pistons from sticky pistons to normal pistons. And now it works. Can can someone explain to me the, the, the mystery difference between sticky pistons and normal pistons and why they should be similar and are completely different? And I'm not I don't mean pulling blocks. When you're pushing blocks with a single tick, there is apparently massive, massive differences between how sticky pistons and normal pistons behave. For example, in the block conveyors, and this was why I was using the sticky pistons. In a block conveyor like this, that like a smart piston that is zero ticking, this has to be a sticky piston. This cannot be a normal piston. But apparently when pushing blocks into the wither, uh, it cannot be a sticky piston, it has to be a normal piston. I don't understand it. They grind this over, this was a different kind of grind, it was a grind of design, but uh, I have now figured it all out. I just need to add a loot system into it and block conveyors, but this should be simple. Let's finish this and build it on Porkaland. And it's fully designed. Uh, this is probably very even close to releasable, I like to the public. I mean, uh, if I ever want to make a guide out of this one, and I think I actually should because it's simpler. Because I looked at others now, and um, other people have done much more complicated versions of this. Or maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think I am missing something. It is fully working. It has safety mechanism. Basically, the safety mechanism is uh, uh, this comparator reading from this dispenser, making sure that we have skulls. It's actually not catastrophic to run out of skulls. Uh, what will happen is that we're going to be pushing in the soul sand and the wivers are going to be destroying the soul sand, which is exactly the problem that I spent two days debugging. But other than that, it should just work. And by the way, I had that problem again when I was like just cleaning this up and tightening the, the timing and uh, adding the block conveyors. That was just a timing issue. So I, I broke it because I messed up the timing. The timing is, by the way, really, really icky. The dispensers that are dispensing the skulls have to be triggered one tick before this line gets lit to extend the pistons. If the dispensers are triggered on the same signal as the pistons, this doesn't work. The soul sun gets blown up. If I trigger the dispensers one tick before, everything works fine. And I am actually suspecting that this is why people actually think they need zero tick the, the pistons that are pushing the blocks in, because zero ticking does something with the block timing, something. As you can see, there is no zero ticking involved anywhere in this machine. It's no zero ticks, like nothing, not even here. Uh, by the way, the, my, my double piston extender here is ridiculously ugly. It's just, I, I powered this uh, note block. There is a sticky piston under the note block right here. And there is a normal piston in front of the sticky piston and an observer looking at the note block. And then I have this to reset. Uh, it's it's kind of, it works. And I'm not going to change it because uh, I did change it to something that I thought would be a little bit better, but that's when the timing went bad. And it wasn't because of the double piston extender, but I, I'm leaving this in now. Everything else should actually, like if you have some experience with how redstone works, this machine shouldn't be too hard to understand. The The weirdest, uh, like the way I get the one tick timing, because as you probably know, observers and repeaters and pretty much everything has a two, two tick timing or two tick resolution. So the way I get one tick resolution on timing is that I'm opening up this trapdoor under the scaffolding and the updates of, what's it called again? The distance, like the scaffolding distance to where it's anchored. So this, this scaffolding is now anchored on this trapdoor. But if I open up the trapdoor, scaffolding gets anchored on this block instead. So the distance updates from zero to one. And this one updates to zero to one. One tick later, this one updates from one to two. And that's how we can get a one tick resolution on our timing. And that's that's 
why it works. So that's one of the very few actually weird things that are going on here. Everything else is kind of relatively simple to understand. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy, nothing complicated. This works just fine. This mechanism here, by the way, it, I took it from my blast chamber because it, it's the same timing. We are pushing the blocks in on a four tick clock, which means that we should be getting four and a half thousand Neva stars per hour if we have the skulls, of course. And uh, yeah, we have, the, like I mentioned before, we have a safety mechanism here that will turn the ma machine off when we run out of skulls. But we are only checking this dispenser uh, be be because there is just no way. I, I don't think there is any way. So I have added another uh, safety feature. It's, it's a sign that says even distribution of skulls or else. The, the else is just losing soul sand, so it's not bad. I, I think this is ready for production. <laughs> Famous last words. I am so afraid of this machine. Oh, I, I can show you, by the way, that this works. The, the bot is standing here and just placing blocks. And we're getting withers. Uh, this is going to be noisy, so let's prevent the noisiness. The, 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 the noise is biblical. The, the bot is in survival mode, is getting spammed by blocks here. By the way, I have already noticed that uh, I shouldn't have one hopper into this because I'm actually using more than one hopper speed of uh, blocks here. So I, I need to rearrange this. That's simple. That's trivial. But uh, let's just run this. Maybe take warp for a few minutes. And yeah, we're getting withers. The withers are dying. We can look at the counters. The counter in the loot system is only counting never stars, and there is no soul sand being destroyed. So I, I'm calling this a success. Right now, it's just time to build this on Borka Land and probably infest my end with a million withers. Wish me luck. Well, and this is the moment of truth. Uh, I have built it. Uh, I have not tested anything just yet. I'm hiding every Schalke box in my ender chest right now so that nothing can possibly go wrong. I have verified everything. Fortunately, this is a very, very, very simple build. The only thing that is weird is, uh, well, uh, this, this repeater is on two ticks rather than one tick. Everything else is just place the right blocks in the right position. I'm gonna poke a hole here for now. And also, uh, <clears throat> hello Nemesis, uh, there was actually no problem in, in placing the Hopper Minecart. And uh, there's one thing I haven't tested, and it is what happens to the skulls if uh, if they ever shoot uh, the, the with a skeleton or the blue skulls. Uh, what happens uh, when they go through the portal? Will the skulls end up in my spawn chunks, uh, which is just right next to my base? Oh, my heart is pounding, which means that we need to do this or or I will uh, chicken out. I'd better have a full stack in each because even distribution of skulls or else. We have the skulls. This piston is not extended. I'm going to do one manual test run just to see if we have an escaping wiver. Two, three, and... Uh, Four. That worked. The Weaver shouldn't be escaping. Let me see. Yeah, the hitboxes are looking good. Oh, yes. Um, I am getting hit here. There is a sign here saying danger so I should be standing here if I don't want to get hit by the Weaver. And it only matters when they are exploding. So this one is not exploding. So, uh, yeah, we are good. Are we good? I don't know if it's shooting blue skulls through the portals. Um, that could be happening right now, and my entire base is gone when I get there. You know what? It will suffocate. Let's not be cowards. Let's go. That should be enough. We're still not getting entity cramming. Oh, and we will not get entity cramming because there are not enough skulls in there. And I should definitely not be keeping doing this. Um, but I will, because why not? 
Oh. Why did everything suddenly become... Oh, because we're out of skulls. Uh, that means I think I have just spawned 63 withers. 64. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. We only spawned 20 because there, there is an, a, a safety margin. I need at least 42 skulls in, in the dispenser to allow more withers to spawn. I wonder if I can get closer. Let's add the uh, two stacks. Or one stack in each dispenser. One stack in each dispenser. Oh, I am so afraid. I am so full of fear right now. But this seems to be working. Do not break anything. Do not touch anything. I am not taking any extra damage. Yeah, uh, 40. Uh, I think 42 is the actual limit. But it takes a while for the system to stop. So, extra skulls. Extra skulls. Safety off. It seems to be working fine, so yeah, let's keep going. Oh, now we are actually seeing cramming. Yes, it's definitely working. The timing is right. I did not mess anything up. You can see the, the health bars just plummeting down, and that means that they are taking cramming damage. Because we were right on the edge. We had, I think we had, yeah, we stopped at 24 spawned withers, and, and we needed 25. So now they're going to die fast. But it is working. It is gloriously working. It is fantastic. I love this. Yep, there we go. Now we're out of skulls. It is really, really... It's so much faster than I thought, even though I, I should have known how fast it is. And if they're shooting blue skulls through the portal, my entire island is now gone. Well, and this is going to be a very long episode, but since lots of people have told me that you like uh, my live redstone, I, I will I will keep this episode long. Uh, yell really hard at me in the comments if uh, you're thinking that, because I, I'm suspecting it's going to be at least 45 minutes. If 45 minutes is way too much, let me know. I will do much more editing next time. Well, you, you can't even imagine how much editing and cutting I've already done, because I have recorded over three hours already. But we're not done yet. There are a few things that we still need to do. All right. They are still dying, but I have collected courage. This is fine. We have no soul sand in here. And exactly... Well, why is it 84 exactly? It should be... Oh, no. Okay. It's two left. So it should be slightly more. Yeah, I think two more. Yeah, definitely two more. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, it is just working. Oh, <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you! Oh, the the relief, the relief of actually figuring this out finally, the relief of fixing all the bugs, all the frustration, all the stress, all the swearing, all the live stream where we, you were just failing and failing and failing. It is always worth it, because now. I can finally make one of these so that our bot wouldn't die when running this farm here. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good withering. Bye!